And thanks for joining us for our second half hour of The Factor on Censor. We'll be taking you out live in just a moment. But first, the Chiefs and the 49ers are facing off this Sunday at the Super Bowl. We have our sports journalists who are here to talk about what the teams had to do to make it to this point and who they expect to win. We have Barry Laminate, Kim Davis, and messy ass Jim Hicks. <laughs> Glad to have you all here for The Factor on Censor. Get him! <laughs> so, Jim, let's start with your messy ass tonight. <laughs> What did it take to get these two teams here, <laughs> the premier game of the year? Well, I mean, uh, Kansas City and San Francisco, they played each other three, four years ago in the Super Bowl, and this, this is a rematch uh, of sorts. But um, KC, think about it, they weren't supposed to be here in many people, in the eyes of many, once the, going into the playoffs. Remember, they had to go on the road. First, they played Miami at mm -hmm. home. Then you go on the road. Buffalo people had basically dug the grave and say oh they won't get past Josh Allen you whooped him then you got to go on the road to Baltimore play the MVP and they, they slayed that dragon and now here they are as far as Frisco I mean it's been a it's been a tr uh, I guess a, a trial a turbulent year for them as well mm -hmm. Brock Purdy has, has showed up when it's mattered most and I've, I haven't seen a, a white quarterback get this much hate in a long time while they're winning. And when you say hate for the viewers who are not familiar with the game, what kind of hate are we talking about? Well, I mean, it's like every time he wins, it's like, it's like, it's not good enough. Like, oh, it's somebody else. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You're not this. You're not that. And guess what? He's, he's one of the last ones standing right now. One win away. All right. Kim, are you seeing the same thing with that quarterback? And what do you think it took for those two teams to get where they are today? So... Great defense, right? Because they say defense wins championships. And so the 49ers were great defense. And it's been really the Chiefs defense. And it's been Patrick Mahomes doing what he does in postseason. Mm -hmm. It's just being Patrick Mahomes. Um, Brock Purdy, I think one of the reasons is because he's what they call Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick in the draft when he was selected. And there's, so the expectations are different. And so he has some weaknesses, but he has played extremely well, right? If he had been healthy last year, maybe they would have been in the Super Bowl instead of the Eagles. We don't know. I don't know if I call it hate. I just think people haven't really bought in. It's going to take them winning. I think a win gets people to say, okay, yeah, he really can play. I mean, the last time they had a game that was super important, that, she, that, Buff that Baltimore Ravens game, he looked real good, right? Mm -hmm. he, he, he can turn the ball over. So I don't know if I think it's hate. I think people just haven't bought in yet, and I think that's what it is. All right, Barry Laminick, let's hear your position. Yeah, you know what? I, I think the thing with Brock Purdy specifically is that there's, there's this expectation of a quarterback that, that gets to the Super Bowl, and he's been called a game manager. He's been, you know, he's got two guys on his team, and Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey, that if, if it, 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 they, people say, oh, all he does is check down to these guys, get the ball in their hands, and let them run. But that's people that aren't really paying attention to the film and watching it and, and that really understand that what Brock Purdy does is he creates plays. He throws the ball down the field. He's finding open guys. I mean, Brendan Ayuk is a weapon, and that's because Brock Purdy is out there running an offense like he should. So I think a lot of folks need to kind of hate on Brock Purdy because he's not supposed to be this good. Mm -hmm. And I think that that kind of fools them into thinking, well, he's got to be a gay. It's got to be somebody else somebody else's fault for him being this good. <laughs> and of course, guys, I want to be a fly on the wall. I want you guys to talk about mm -hmm. amongst yourselves who will win and why you think they will win. Mm -hmm. I'm on break. Go ahead. Can well, I'm, go I'm not going betting against Pat Mahomes. Yeah. No, don't do that. At this time of year. <laughs> yeah, I no. Mean, you know, and you guys know how I feel about the quarterback situation. So yeah, we're not we, we, we already know how you feel about that. No, <laughs> when no. he said white quarterback, I was like, hey, oh, hey, man. what? No. Kim, so, that touches, bless your heart. I know, right? It's just, we, we've been there. It's been a long season. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, tough to, it's tough to bet against Patrick Mahomes. Mm, and, yeah. and that whole chiefdom, right? It's, it's Andy Reid. It's, it's bags in the defense. It's, it's tough to bet against them. I would like to see... The Niners win for a number of reasons. I'd like to see Kyle get one. I'd like to see Brock do it. I mean, listen, we got D'Amico from them. So come on, let the, yeah. let the 49ers do something good, right? i tell you what, though. The, it's, tough to, it's tough to go against them. The, the, the problem is, in these last two games that the Niners have played in, yeah. they've kind of been exposed. Detroit yeah. exposed that run defense, which was really good all year during the regular season. But that defense is completely different now. It's not as good right. and hasn't been in the past couple of games in the postseason. They only gave up 17 a game. They've given up 31 and 21 in their last two games in the postseason. So 
be that's here. the I mean it, it, you can't get behind like Brock Purdy has two come behind come from behind victories you in his can't last get behind two, the no. Chiefs like that not on that defense yeah. and expect to no. come back and you're win not, in the second half that's yeah. not the Packers and that's not the Lions right. that Chiefs defense is one of the best absolutely in football well you have the number one offense going against the number five defense and at some something is going to give and you mentioned about the points, about Frisco allowing 17 a game in his postseason, and Kansas City has only been scoring 22 a game on their average. But at the same time, Pat Mahomes has never lost to the 49ers. Okay, let's see what happens this Sunday. Thank you guys you for joining got? us. 49ers. Oh, I meant wrong. Kansas well, City. I'm sorry, sorry. Kansas. Oh, you Kansas City. Off okay. Guard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> we'll be back, and we're going live. And when Kim gets outside, we're going to trip her. <laughs> Hating ass. We know you, Kim. You caught me off guard. You know I was pulling for Kansas City. All my life, I had to fight. And welcome back to the Factor on Simpson. We have our own, our very own tailgate for the Super Bowl early here on the Fox Lot. You can see the ladies are out here playing cornhole. We have plenty of guests. We have people from that. What do you got here at Dax? Well, for Dax, we are showing up. We're doing our tailgate for you guys. We wanted to bring out our best friend. We brought some wings. We brought some burgers. We have egg rolls. We have drinks. We're mixing live. We're having a Super Bowl party, so make sure y'all stop by. We have drinks. Specials. We have food specials. Fifty dollar mimosa towers. And we'll we'll come back to you. We just okay. want to say hello. Hello. You're doing a whole commercial. I am. <laughs> and we have comfort foodies. You guys are in the house. How, are you excited about the business for Super Bowl? Oh, I am. This is one of the best times we get an opportunity to display a spread that we have designed specifically for the Super Bowl. Got it. And we'll yeah. see you guys in just a moment. We have the legendary Nifas out here. The original Nifas. Sir, and, of yes, course, sir. you guys are in the house for us, right? Yes, sir, definitely. We're here for you. I want to take care of you for Super Bowl and everything. Yeah, we got a good Super Bowl package here. Fajitas, margaritas, and anything you can do. Oh, like chili con queso, whatever it is. Okay, we'll come back and see you in just a moment. And wh what is this? A tackle box? Yes, it is. I'm Andrea Wilson with Forever Yours Creations. I have your Super Bowl tackle box here. So it's like a grazing box for the Super Bowl. And we'll come back to get more details. Good to see you guys. Hey, wh wh where the hell is Andrew Sam? Where the hell is Andrew Shell? So we want to talk to you. What are people talking about on social media about the Super Bowl? Of course, we are talking about so many things. But of course, we got to start with the scandal. The first thing first, Alabia Mitchell, the girlfriend of San Francisco 49ers, running back Jordan Mason. She is under attack on TikTok because her. NFL players have did the of course challenge and what they did was they said I'm an NFL girlfriend of course I'm going to the Super Bowl and people are mad the haters have been tearing them down going crazy on them in the first three seconds that the video was posted Isaiah they got comments talking about their marital status talking about their looks and most importantly calling out black people for living their soft era I don't know about you it sounds like haters to me <laughs> All right, Aunt Rochelle, good to see you. And here's one of our legends in the house. Have anyone called you a, le a legend yet? Uh, they have that. Okay, you're our legend here on The Factor. Thank you. Houston's La La. So what are people doing around town? There's a lot of great parties going on. We got Vita Garden Midtown. It's uh, the old Celtic Garden. You remember that place? Mm -hmm, I remember that. We got that. plenty of TVs. They have one of the biggest streets in the city. They're going to have vendors, too, drink specials and all that. Then there's a Tom's Watch Bar, which is a new, really cool spot. King's Court. King's Jay Patel at King's that's Court. That's my that's hangout. Shout out King's Court. Shout out King's Court. Texas Tailgate, too. They're having a big party, too. Absolutely. You got to check all of those out. And of course, we got Lanes in the house. Lanes. What do you guys, are you expecting a large crowd for Super Bowl? Definitely expecting a large crowd for Super Bowl. Um, definitely. We have a lot of things to offer on our menu. So definitely, we're looking for you guys to come out and support us. All right. And are you excited? Of course we are. We got plenty of options. We got spicy regular chicken and a lot of different sauces to offer. All right. And we'll be back to see you guys. And of course, what is without DJ Paul in the house? DJ, you're going to be busy on Super Bowl weekend. Man. 
you have no idea. <laughs> you got a lot of people hitting me up, man. I got a lot of, like, famous jewelers hitting me up. I got a lot of people saying, hey, Paul, need you here, but... Who are some of those jewelers you work with? Man, I'm working actually with this uh, jeweler named Man's Wholesale. I want to give a huge shout-out to AJ, man. As you see, we bling down around here. We're going ha to have to get Isaiah You've been right. blinged up for a while, Paul. We'll see you in just a moment. And tell us about what you got. Hey, I'm Tanya Riley with Riley Consultant Designs, and we do plenty of memories with all of our decor here today. We did our backdrop for y'all today. And you made it look great for us. Thank you so much. We want to thank you so We're much. We're so happy to be here. We would definitely appreciate it. And where can we find you guys? RileyConsultantDesigns.com. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Factor Uncensored. All right, John, get them. Are they good? Are you guys good at cornhole? Are you good? It's good, and that's what we are. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back to the Factor on Central. We have our very own live Super Bowl tailgate party, and Nymphos is in the house. The original and Angel is here. So, Angel, for those who come to Nymphos and they're looking for some Super Bowl party and great eats, what do you have here? No, we got a bunch of fajitas, man, about five pounds of fajitas, beef and chicken. We have some queso, some wok. All, everything you see here is on our Super Bowl special package, along with a gallon of margarita. So, yeah, <laughs> anything and everything you can think of, get it, you're gone. Bacon wrapped shrimp, chili con queso. I mean, it's good. It's all the spread that you need. And yes. if people want to come to Nimfa's the original uh, for the Super Bowl, do they need to make reservations? Just show up? What? Not at all. Just show up. Yeah, we'll have the, the game live and everything and the sound, and it'll be a fun time. Yeah, no all reservations needed. Just show up. We'll be there for you. All right, Angel. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. We'll be right back to see you. All right, we're talking to the Comfort Foodies, ma'am. Comfort Foodies. For those who are looking for the great Super Bowl party and some great eats, what are you guys are providing here? So what we have is our um, pick six uh, package, which is consists of our foodie platter. Mm -hmm. You have empanadas to get away from your wings and nachos, and <laughs> we have empanadas, fried catfish, uh, fried shrimp, and then the pick six, which is you get to pick six of your favorite beers. So you get a six pack of beers with empanadas, with tostones. It's your soul food, Dominican soul food fusion that we uh, offer at Comfort Foodies. And if people want to get in touch with you, find you on social media, what do they need to do? So our website is ComfortFoodiesHTX.com or our social media, uh, Instagram is Comfort Foodies and also Facebook Comfort Foodies. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Guys, we'll see you again in just a moment. Let's walk down the table. We're going to Dax. And I want to step out of the way and show some of this great food. So tell us what you guys have here at Dax. Well, at Dax, we have our um, variety of things that we do offer. We have shrimp, we have fish, we have fries. We have wonderful wing selections. We have egg rolls, boudin balls, burgers added to the menu. And, of course, we have the drinks. Now, you know <laughs> we have to have the drinks. We got our bartenders on deck. They're mixing. How the hell y'all get a bartender <laughs> and a whole bar here on the Isaiah Factor? Because we knew we were coming to Isaiah, so we had to come correct. You know, we couldn't come half-stepping. We couldn't do that. We couldn't do that. And for those who would like to come and hang out with you guys on Super Bowl Sunday, do they have to make reservations? What? So you can make a reservation if you'd like to guarantee a seat. But if not, we do take walk-ins. Walk-ins are always welcome. So please stop by at any time. We don't mind. Um, we have plenty of seating. We have plenty of tables, sections. And Super Bowl Sunday is going to be phenomenal. So you're going to want to be there. Great and special. where can we find you on social media? Social media, we are at Zax Houston, Texas. So it's D-A-I-Q-S-H-T-X. And that's where you can find us on social media. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Now, Starling, we have an interloper, an interloper, someone who should not be here, someone who should be doing the news, and he's hanging out on the factor set. We have Anthony Antoine, our main anchor here at Fox 26, goofing off. Hey, listen, man, I'm off the clock. I'm off the clock, so I'm just here to have a good time, and I'm enjoying every, everybody here, the food, the drinks. It's going to be a great night. All right, and how are you celebrating Super Bowl? Ah, man, just, you know, with the people I love, and me and my wife having a good time at the house, a couple of drinks, some good food. That's all you need, right? All right, so put it on Instagram. Put it on Instagram. Put it in the story. Yeah, yeah, I watch your yeah. stories. All right. <laughs> And of course, where's Philip? Where did Philip go? Did Philip disappear on us? He disappeared on us. So, 
Here's one of our Fox photographers here. Man, what are you doing out here? I'm out here playing cornhole, having a good time for the sake of you, sir. All right. And we appreciate it. We, we appreciate you. Now, what are you doing Super Bowl? Super Bowl, you know, I'm probably going to go to somebody's house, partake in a little bit of beverages, have some good food, and have me a good time. I'm cheering on the Chiefs this year, so I want to see them win. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Chandler, Chandler, who's a photographer here at Fox 26. What did Philip go? Did Philip disappear? Let's talk. Hey, Starling. Let's talk to our producer. <laughs> our producer. <laughs> Hello, guys. All right, Malia, you have done a great job out here. How are you celebrating Super Bowl? I'm turning up with everybody. All right. And not working. All right, Philip, we've been looking for you. Hey. How are you celebrating Super Bowl? Oh, wherever's going to be popping, Isaiah, you let me know. We're going to be there. We're going to the Texans all day, forever. You know the Texans aren't playing, right? I know, but hey. I, I have to go with Taylor Swift. <laughs> and there's Kim Davis back there. All of our guests are here. And, of course, we'll be back with more Factor Uncensored in just a moment. And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored, our live Super Bowl party. We're tailgating here at the Factor Uncensored. All the people are out here. And, of course, we want to talk about the Super Bowl and the economic impact it provides small businesses. Now, we know the Super Bowl makes a lot of money. Do you guys make any damn money off the Super Bowl? Or do you have to hurt somebody? I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not making any money off Super Bowl. Why not? <laughs> well, this is the first year that I'm uh, really full-time with my business, so... So you're we'll hoping see. to make we'll money? See. We'll see. All right, and what about, obviously, you're decorating, you're making that party look good. Oh, Are you hoping to make money off the Super Bowl? I'm hoping to make money off the Super Bowl. A lot of times people have, you know, house parties, so they want a little pizzazz. So we come in and do what we need to do to make it special. And have you been getting calls yet? I've been getting several calls. Hopefully you'll get more after the I'm fact that I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you for that. And yeah. what about economic impact for you guys at Comfort Foodies? It, it's been great. Super Bowl is kind of like every other holiday. Each holiday has a different sort of economic boost. Uh -huh. So you have to plan accordingly, just like Super Bowl. Super Bowl plans for certain platters, certain beers, certain drinks. There's certain elements that come with Super Bowls that everybody look forward to and that they want. So that in turn brings us the crowd that wants to come watch the game because we have plenty of TVs, plenty of music, everything that you need to enjoy a Super Bowl. And in turn, they give us the money. Now, are you guys concerned about the weather? Um, I did hear that there's going to be some rain, but it rained doors. So, <laughs> it's Houston. Inside, yeah, who cares? Who cares? Exactly. Who cares? It's Houston, yeah, who cares? <laughs> well, you're going to be inside, you're going to eat good food, drink, you know, good drinks. Yeah. All right. We're not worried about the weather. There you go. Okay, guys, when it comes to a good Super Bowl party, what are you looking forward to? Looking for good vibes, specials, good music, just anything good in general. Looking for something to get lit while we watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what gets you going for a good Super Bowl party? Man, if I could get in free anywhere, that's all good. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna cap. But um, so if I can get in free, if I can have some, some good drinks, good food, if we have good specials, the game, we have the game on every screen. That's all good. I'm, I'm enjoying that for sure. All right. And what, what what gets you going for a great Super Bowl party that you will talk about throughout the year? For sure, a place that will just allow me and all my friends to go and have a real good time, real good food, and just a good experience overall. And are you pulling for a particular team? 49ers. 49ers! Oh. <laughs> and, of course, when it comes to economic impact for Dax, does it help you guys business-wise? It, it definitely helps us business-wise because we want to provide an environment where people feel comfortable, uh, where people feel like they're going to come and have a good time, have good drinks, have good food, and we provide all of that. So if people come out and support us, it helps us better support them in the future because we can continue to give great events like we always do. All right. And, of course, we got a lot of people out here on the Factor Uncensored enjoying themselves. And we got Kim. Kim, what are you looking for? Come and see me. Kim. Kim Davis, our sports journalist here on The Factor. What are you looking forward to seeing on the Super Bowl? Put your, your professional hat aside. Okay, so I want to see a great halftime show. Uh -huh. I'm really wondering who Usher is going to bring with them. Like, 
Who's going to be the guest that he's going to have on with him? I'm waiting to see that. All right. All right, Tim, and thank you for joining us. And make sure you partake in some of the delicious food here on The Factor. And, of course, we want to thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor. We want to thank producer Sonora Harris, Mal Malia Carruthers for putting us all together, John Starling, Mark Woodburn, and all of our staff here at The Factor Uncensored, and executive producer Matt Horn. That'll do it for us. See you Monday. Have a great night. And enjoy the party. Ha, 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 ha.